How's it going, everybody? It's Robin here. Welcome to Oracle Rising. So just a couple things about me. I am a starseed, Arcturian starseed. I am a light worker and an empath and a healer. Okay, so I'm here to help you guys on your journey in any way that I can. So sending love and light. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, the healing power of animals. Okay, not necessarily companion animals. I believe that Animals are the purest form of love on our planet right now. Um, they just ha have absolutely no guile. There is no ulterior motive. Um, you know, there's no if, ands, or buts to their love. They just come in with their hearts open wide. <sighs> and they'll just share their heart with you okay so there's more to it than that okay so there are animals that will be part of your soul family contract uh they could just come in for a quick reason or a season or a lifetime for you just like people but there's just such a different way of receiving love from an animal it, it's like they just crack you open in a specific way that is so absolutely beautiful uh you guys have probably heard me talk about my dog Lacey I really wanted her to be in the video today but she's napping she has a very busy schedule so do you have a companion animal or do you share an experience with an animal where they helped you over possibly the roughest period of your life or did they help you to see a higher version of yourself so that's what i'm here to talk about today so i'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about my journey with lacy because she did come into my life at one of the darkest points and she really helped me through it and i just had this beautiful experience with her a couple weeks ago and that's what really inspired me to talk about companion animals or other animals that are just here to really help us on our journey okay so i really like to dance um so i was listening to this song really beautiful and i actually i had my eyes closed and i was dancing away and uh she jumped up and she put her paws on my chest just really beautiful gesture and i opened my eyes and she put i extended out my hands and she put her paws in my hands and we just danced for a few minutes and it was like i was just moved to tears because it's so beautiful just the love shining out of her eyes and and to see that total 100 percent acceptance and i'm going to start crying again and then it's like she just sent me this message that she was showing me the possibility for the highest version of myself in this lifetime because she's never angry she's never depressed you know she's always in a good mood she's always willing to share and support she's aware of my moods most of the time before even i am um, so it was just this really beautiful karmic experience that I had with her. So I, I wanted to talk about that with you guys. And angel number 333 just came up as I was speaking. So I think that's just a really beautiful reminder. Okay. So when these animals come into our life, it is their choice, whether they know it in their incarnation or not, just the way that we have choices and we've signed a soul contract to incarnate down here on the planet so have animals so they have chosen you just as much as you have chosen them and just to sort of give an example about that <clears throat> okay so i was talking about that super dark time in my life it was really really bad okay so i had an undiagnosed thyroid problem I was really sick and I had no idea what was going on and neither did my doctor because he missed something on my blood test results. So I actually went into something that's called a thyroid storm and that was happening at the same time that I had a catastrophic back injury. So I managed to get through that and, and very closely held in the arms of Archangel Gabriel while I was healing. 
And then I found this physiotherapist to help me with my back and he actually helped me to avoid um, a back surgery. So I'm just always like super grateful to him because I didn't want a scalpel going into my spine. Call me crazy, you know? So when I was starting to feel a little bit better, he was like, he said, you know, the best thing you can do is just keep walking. Like just get out and, and walk. And I couldn't think of anything more boring, you know, cause like, please, <laughs> I don't live in the country, right? I live in this city. Ick. And <clears throat> so that got me thinking, well, I, I didn't want to ever slide back into a place where I wasn't functioning. So I started looking for a dog. Okay, I already had cats, but uh, a dog, they'll get you motivated to get you out of the house. So I went on adoption sites and I was asking about this dog. Oh yeah, they're available. You can come and meet them. That happened four times. And then after the fourth time, I had another visit booked and they were like, oh, okay, well, somebody actually ended up adopting this dog. Her name was Cagney. And they said, but her sister Lacey is available, if anybody remembers that show, Cagney and Lacey. So anyway, I went to go meet her and she was just the most chilled, laid back, relaxed, beautiful, just pure soul. So she came home with me. And then like, she's just been part of my, my healing and my journey. That was right around the same time. And I, I think the timing was there intentionally that I would meet her because she's been right by my side on my spiritual awakening. And I honestly just don't know how I would have made it through, you know, all these years of, you know, what's going on in my life and healing and, you know, so these animals are just, they're not just showing up in our life randomly. They come in when we need them the most to help. They support us in so many different ways. Like how many of you have a cat or have had a, an experience with a cat? You know, you're not feeling well or, you know, maybe you're just having a, a mediocre day and then they come up and give you that headbutt, you know, that is so adorable. They give you the sort of that third eye headbutt, which is super cool, which I absolutely love. Curl up on your lap and purr, and it's like such instant relaxation. So, you know, I just, I just wanted to really just make a video honoring all these animals in our lives that come to help us heal and they heal communities you know there's there's support dogs there are dogs that are working to help people that are incapacitated one way or another you know um you want to think about seeing eye dogs and there's actually therapy dogs that go and they visit hospitals and senior citizens and one thing that really popped into my mind was you know, how they can really break through to people on the spectrum with autism. Angel number 808 just came up, you guys, because people with autism are kind of in a separated world, right? So there's this vibrational purity that is in an animal that kind of can connect through that. And I, I really think that uh, sometimes like verbal communication with the autistic community I read some research a while ago and it was really interesting that they interpret sounds differently so it can be really painful for them so they retreat into this world but anyway off on a tangent but an animal in their quiet acceptance and company they sort of surpass any sort of verbal communication or body language and they can sense immediately what is going on in your heart and soul you know, and it's just so beautiful. And, and there's animals that can detect cancer and other diseases and help people heal. And man, I just wanted to really talk about all of this because if you guys are alone and lonely, if you can afford in some way, if you have the capacity to bring a companion animal into your life, and it doesn't have to be the usual, you know, it doesn't have to be a fluffy kitten or a dog, it can be whatever works for you. You know, it can be like some people love the company of a snake or, you know, some critter. I'm, I'm an arachnophobic, so I was gonna say that word, but I can't because I just, <laughs> so 
animals are here on their own journey and they select people and the timing to come in and help you through some of the hardships of your life and you know where people might absolutely fail you or when you just can't speak your worries out loud to another person because they might think that you're unconscionable or you know they might look down your nose but their nose at you but if you confess to your companion animal like these things that are dark and painful you know you you have this sense of like an absolution and being understood and never ever ever being judged which is one of the most beautiful feelings in the world so i really just wanted to you know give sort of an ode to animals and the role they play in our lives and the majestic healing of their unconditional love um i think i'm gonna stop right there because i am starting to well up and i'm just so overwhelmed with love for every animal that has ever touched my life and helped me on my journey especially my current companion animal miss lacy who i love beyond all reason and who has helped me through the darkness unfailingly okay i'm gonna go guys if you have a cherished companion animal or a familiar please feel free to drop their name in the comments <laughs> I'm going to go cry <laughs> for real. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.